Welcome to all you future educators, current educators, and lifelong learners who are looking to blend technology, teaching strategies, and emerging trends to create exceptional learning experiences. And welcome back specifically to our series on RISE 360. In this video, we're going to try and take images and video and embed those in with the text that we've created in a previous lesson. We want to use some of these visual elements not only because it enhances that aesthetic appeal, the look, the feel, but it also usually will help us get the information across easier to our learners or our users. So we're going to go ahead and put these in, but we're going to try and do it with a project I've wanted to do for a while. I've got a love of board games and I've got a love of Marvel stuff, and those combined into one game that I really enjoyed called Marvel Champions. Now this isn't a video about board games, it's about Rise 360, but what I want to try to do is take this large instruction manual and digitize it using RISE 360 to see if we can't get something that's a little bit clearer, a little bit easier, a little bit more accessible going forward. So let's go ahead and see if we can't make that instruction manual just a little bit more dynamic. So here you can see we've got a lot of text. Long walls of text not very engaging. So instead we're going to go ahead and embed some images to break up the content a little bit and some videos to maybe demonstrate how this setup works. So let's start enhancing this by replacing some of these text blocks with images. We start that by clicking add block and then image. Here I'm going to go ahead and replace these larger text blocks with image blocks that have some text on the side. This should add visual appeal to the lesson and kind of clarify some of the points I'm trying to make. If needed, I can go ahead and add captions to the images as well, which will also help reinforce these rules for new players. All right, now I like the way this is looking, but I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more. I wanna add some video. Now for adding video, we can either upload our own video or we can embed one from somewhere like YouTube. Now let's add a tutorial that explains this setup to help reinforce the information we've talked about prior to this point in the lesson. This way players can go in and verify their understanding of the setup by seeing someone else set up a game via the video. To add a video that I already have on my computer, all I need to do is go down to the text block and select the video option. The video will pop up and if I go over and edit the content and then I hit edit on the video itself, it will allow me to replace the video again with something that I already have on my computer. However, sometimes I want to go ahead and use a video that already exists on YouTube or some other video site. It's pretty easy to do, but instead of using one of the standard block buttons down on the bottom, I need to click on Block Library to get a few more options. If you click on Block Library, you'll see there's a Multimedia button. If I click on Multimedia, you'll see the video block that we had previously, but right underneath that is an Embed block. We're going to go ahead and click that and add that to our lesson instead. Once I have the Embed block in place, I can go in, edit the content, and then I can go and change the code. All I need to do is grab an iframe code from somewhere like YouTube and then I can go ahead and paste it in here and the video will embed itself into my lesson. Whichever way you decide to do it, adding a video to the lesson is a good way to add variety of content for your users. Now speaking of variety of content, now that it's looking a lot better, we can still take it one step further with interactive elements and engagement. For example, what if we want to break down a hero's identity card and do it with clickable hotspots? That way you could easily tell where the information is on the card that I'm talking about. We can use a labeled graphic block to accomplish this. 
Now we're going to look at that a lot more in detail in the next video where we go beyond just images and videos and we really try to explore some of the various interactive engagement elements that Rise360 will let you build. But for now, you've learned how to put media into your Rise360 lessons. And that's going to up the aesthetic quality, but more importantly, it's going to give you another tool to try and get that information across to your users or your learners a little bit more effectively. Now, like I mentioned in the next couple of videos, we're going to try and play around with some of the interactive elements in Rise360. But this is your chance to tell us which ones to focus on. Are there certain elements that you're more interested in than others? Or are there other features of Rise360 that we haven't made videos on yet either? If that's the case, go ahead and put those comments down in the comments section and we'll try to get those videos out to you as soon as we possibly can. Now also, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that as we start getting out these new videos to make Rise360 even better, you have instant access to them. In the meantime, thanks again for watching the video. Keep creating. We look forward to seeing what you build and we'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, have a good one guys.